when it comes to water, we are very lucky here in Benyarda in Spain. Because this is perfect drinking water directly from the mountain. This is my second video and I am still in Benyarda. I am Einar Schalles Larsen and I am the author of this book, Mr. No Brain and the Environment. Mr. No Brain is a guy who lives with his family in his home and think that all the environment problems he has has to be solved inside the home. He's afraid to go out. The sad thing is that everyone on this planet who works with environment problems seems to think the same way. They don't understand that the Earth is a home and we can actually go out. The last days I have been sending out information to 28 environment organizations around the world, the biggest and some others. And I'm telling them what I'm actually doing and about my book Mr. No Brain and the Environment. And I'm asking them why they never focusing on the most important for to protect our world for all future. That's why I want to have a toast with you today. Cheers! And let's hope for the best for the environment and all life on the planet. Some might wonder what I really want. Well, I want to open the door for Mr. No Brain. If I'm able to drag him outside, he will see that the environment is much bigger than he wants to accept. There is so much space out there, a lot of space, more than he can imagine. And the environment problem he experiences in his home will disappear if he just changes his mind and try to kill his big stubbornness. Everything he needs for to get a clean and healthy home is there outside his home. Wherever he look, he see all things that can set him free from his problem. And water! Look, there is water outside his home! This will surprise Mr. Norway. It's the same with our planet Earth. The planet Earth is a home for everybody. And we can go out if we want, if we are not like Mr. Nobren and his family. And there is something outside there, something we call space. And everything we need is outside in space for to survive and for protection. In 1957, we was able to place something outside our home. Sputnik 1 from Soviet Union. In 1961, we was able to go out by ourselves. Yuri Gagarin from Soviet Union. And in 1969, we was actually able to visit a neighbor home. The moon. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward drift. All step for man. One giant leap for mankind. That was Neil Armstrong from United States, who was the first one to go down the stairs from the spaceship. And still, Mr. No Brain and his family, he's sitting in their tiny home and complain and wonder what they are going to do. Because he's so dangerous now. <laughs> <laughs> 
with all this environment problem. The problems we actually don't have at all. So many people say that it's so dangerous out there in space. Even scientists, they are not talking about the plus, they're talking about the minus. Our skeleton become destroyed after a short time because there is no gravity. Our immune system going down? Oh yes, that's terrible. Of course, because we don't have what we need out there yet. We don't build it. The International Space Station. I don't really want to call it a space station. It looks like a lot of trash cans just mixed together. We don't need to stay in space that way. Here we have a model of a slowly spinning space station. This kind of space station can simulate gravity. There is no problem with gravity. If you want to stay away from dry land, far away in the open sea for many weeks or months, you can of course try one of these, but I don't think it's so smart. You might end up with many problems, mentally and physically. But if you choose something like this, and then after complain, that you have so many mental and physical damage because of this cruise ship. I don't think there are so many people who will take you seriously. But in space, we can even make it more fantastic and more comfortable for you. This cruise ship, or even the biggest cruise ship in the world, is just a small little rowing boat compared to what we can create out in space. Constructions that could be made in space for a long time ago. There is no limit for size for the construction out there. For some strange reason, the No Brain family preserve their culture. A culture that is making all the environment problems we have today. Mr. No Brain and his family are ignoring all the fantastic opportunities we have in space. Example, this one. In reality, there is no limits at all for solutions. And we have plenty of building materials to build many giant slowly rotating worlds like this. We have more than we need. No problem with energy. No problem with gravity. No problem with food and no problem with space. And people who live here will have a very easy access to space. We can design different worlds and in an easy way move from one reality to another without to be worried for any environment problems. There is no limit at all.
In the end of this video, you will see a list that shows which organizations I have been in touch with. And I promise you, I will be back here and inform you about any response.